now uh, let's actually start off by uh, you know getting into details of how you can actually uh, edit things within a languages section so uh, I'll actually attempt to modify the English language super site for obvious reasons uh, and uh, you know once you're in the languages section as you can see I mean it's fairly simple there's the edit settings section there's your edit translate website content section which again is self-explanatory and then there's your edit main menu which is the main menu of the super site let me just show that to you you can edit your main menu or the content for this main menu over here so let's actually start off by uh, making a couple of changes within the within the website content for that I need to click on the edit content button over here now as you can see all the information uh, given is uh, given in a fairly intuitive uh, manner so you know if I want to change something let's say on the home page I just need to click on uh, the home page folder now over here uh, the home page is actually divided well there's an index.html file which is your main home page page now within the index.html file there are three basic includes that have been added which are the domain blurb.html include the hosting blurb.html include and the product blurb.html include so let me actually show you what these includes are on the super site so the domain blurb include basically allows you to modify anything within this section the hosting blurb include allows you to modify content and the HTML structure within this section and the product blurb include allows you to modify this so these are the three different parts of the home page and all these three are basically included within the index.html file where you can look at the overall structure of the home page now let me actually start off by editing some content let's actually do that within the domain blurb.html include right so what you basically see in front of you is the basic text editor within uh, within the uh, HTML page what this allows you to do is actually modify any of the any any uh, type of content on that within that particular blurb so let's say if you want to modify uh, enter a domain name where does this particular text appear it appears here enter a domain name www dot this text appears well here so this way you can actually modify any of the any content within this particular domain blurb now this is the basic text editor tool if you actually want to modify the HTML then you can click on the switch to advanced HTML editing mode obviously it throws you a warning saying that you know any changes that you've already made to your basic text edi uh, editing uh, uh, would you know would be gone and any uh, changes that you make within the HTML mode have to be if made incorrectly can make uh, can you know make a page stop functioning anyways I click on yes so as you can see this is the HTML structure of the page this is from where you can actually modify the HTML as well as the content directly now uh, generally whenever I actually speak to uh, you know anybody and uh, you know about the super site admin area and about how it can be customized etc I, I generally always recommend that a person never touch uh, the HTML structure now I'm saying this because any change that you make within the HTML structure over here would mean that you have actually modified uh, the overall structure of this uh, of this HTML page of course and that would actually disallow us to trickle down any kind of changes that we add on to the super site now from time to time what we do is you know we might come up with a new product or we might come up with a new domain extension or we might come up with new promos and we've actually uh, you know provisioned uh, everything in such a way that any of these changes can actually get automatically reflected onto your super site 
provided the HTML structure is untouched. The moment the HTML structure has been modified, those changes cannot trickle down on your super site automatically. Now in that case, what you'd have to do is, uh, you'd have to find the changes made within the original content section over here, if there are any changes or additions made, and then actually add them within your my content section. Of course, you'll have to add that with uh, you know all the other relevant changes that you might have made. So uh, let me just switch back to basic text editing mode. Again, uh, if I switch back to basic text editing mode, any changes I made within the advanced HTML ed uh, editor would be lost. I accept that and click on yes. Right, so let's actually modify some of the content. Let's say I want to uh, change what's written on the search button. So this search is actually this search button over here. So let's say I want to change the content to check now. And then I can just click on save changes. Now earlier on I was talking about how uh, you know we come up with our promos from time to time uh, and you know what we do is we actually add it in our promo engine. Uh, again in case I'm uh, in case I'm talking about something that y'all are not aware of uh, you know I'll, I'll be happy to explain the promo engine slightly later on uh, but let me just show you if I add anything onto the promo engine within the Orbox control panels or your reseller control panel where would I be able to access the content on the super site or within the super site admin area? Now for that, I need to go to translate and edit content pages. I click on the promos folder over here and these are all the promo related HTML files that can actually be modified for text or for HTML structure themselves. There is also a set of includes added over here. Apart from this, I can also modify the uh, the page title for the super site. So this can actually be modified to add your own branding. Now I can do that by going back to the admin area, going to the miscellaneous folder and over here clicking on the page underscore titles dot txt page. Now this page actually gives me all the page titles uh, you know that are available on the super site and that can be modified so let's say if you want to modify your login page title or uh, you know your live chat product page title or you know even the bulk domain registration title you can actually modify all of this now this super site is your home page title so let me actually change that to your reseller brand and then click on save changes Now, all the changes that we've made, well, there have just been two basic uh, changes that I've made, but, uh, you know, any change made within the language, within a language of the super site, or even a theme for that matter, can actually reflect on your super site immediately, provided that that language and that theme both are set to live. Now, uh, let me actually show you, since this is the theme which is, uh, sorry, this is the language which is live, I can actually reflect the changes by just refreshing. And as you can see, uh, your reseller brand, well, the super site has changed to your reseller brand. And once this page completely loads, you'll be able to see that, yes, the search button has been replaced by check now. 